Gotta take a sec to soak in the sounds of nature. How's it going everybody? I'm that fishing you. Welcome back to the channel. I'm out here on the little pond. Got my kayak with me, lifetime Titan Angler, and one rod. Shimano SLX DC with a black booyah little pad crasher. Goal for today is to get a topwater bite this morning. It's a beautiful, beautiful morning, but also to provide you with some tips and tricks and kind of a how to walk a frog specifically from a kayak. So let's get out there on the water. You know what time it is. Alrighty. Out here on the yak. Out here on the water. So this is how I walk a frog from a kayak. Now, this isn't the best way. I'm not saying it's the right way. It is a way. It is my way of walking a frog from a kayak. So, a little backstory. I learned how to walk a frog with a spinning rod and fluorocarbon, which is super, super <laughs> difficult compared to walking a frog with braid. So this is 30 pound braid. I forgot what, what brand it is, but 30 pound braid on a bait caster. And I'll tell you what, walking a frog on a bait caster with braid is a thousand times easier than walking a frog on a spinning rod with fluorocarbon. So first off, the little mods that I made to this frog, the only thing that I've done is I've trimmed these legs so that way they're uneven. It's about an inch uneven on that left side. I haven't bent out my hooks or anything else. That's literally the only thing I've done with this frog. Now I know there's other options for frogs, but this one specifically is the one that I've been fishing and that I'm comfortable with. So, once you make a cast out somewhere, what you want to do is play with the slack in the line. So the way twitching a frog, walking a frog works is you have rod input, which gets the frog to make that initial dart off to one of the sides, either left or right. And then you're reeling in a tiny bit of that slack and then having more rod input. So without twitching the frog, what it looks like is you have that rod input that gets that frog to dart out, return back to your, this is really slow by the way, return back to your start position, reel in a tiny bit of line, and then same thing. So it's going to be twitch, back to your start position, reel in line, twitch, back to your start position, reel in line. So I found that the easiest way for me to get that muscle memory down, because that's what it is, it's muscle memory, it's timing, is to go ahead and cast out and then reel in some of that slack and just get that initial head shake, that initial no, like that. So that frog had that rod input and it started darting out to the side. Once you get that initial one head shake to the left or right, then you're repeating that same thing and trying to get it to dart back the other way. So it's twitch like that right there. There's too much slack in the line. So I'm moving my rod a ton and look, that frog isn't moving at all. So I'm reeling in, reeling in, reeling in to about there to where if I twitch it like that, there's input on the frog, but it's not, you know, a taut line to where it's bouncing up and down. So once you get that initial, that initial head shake, no, you're just reeling in a little bit and then twitching it again and repeating that same thing over and over and over. One thing that I like to do as well is keep my rod tip as close to the water as possible. And I'm finding that when I've, whenever I first started, it was easier for me to twitch um, when the rod was more like at a 90 degree angle, my rod tip to my frog. But as I got used to it, then, you know, you can twitch it almost straight on. You can twitch it kind of behind you. You can twitch it in weird positions and angles. But the muscle memory, the motion of it is reeling some of that slack, give it that initial twitch, reeling some of that slack, give it more twitch, and doing that same thing over and over and over and over. Also, you should not be, I'm gonna just cast it way out yonder, you shouldn't be like yanking your rod and then uh, applying input that way. That's too much input. So if you're finding it difficult to get your frog to dart either left or right, you might, it's a combination of things. You might be 
applying too much input. You might have too much slack in the line. You might not have enough slack in the line. So it's playing with those variables to go through and figure out the perfect, almost perfect pattern, because it's it's not like rocket science. It's, there's a lot of room for, um, like, mistake. There's a leeway room. But finding out that happy place, that happy medium, where you can get that frog to dart back and forth. And then it's just muscle memory. It's going through and, like, twitch reel, twitch reel, twitch reel, twitch reel. So what I'm doing, too, is my right hand is kind of just like loosely hanging on to my reel so when i twitch it it's almost like my hand on that reset is already going through and applying some of that that reel already reeling in some of that slack so i had a bomb cast out reeling it in that frog a little bit and then giving it that twitch let's see if i can capture this this is basically what it looks like and that frog way down yonder is walking back and forth Let's see if we can get a close up frog is right here crazy amount of slack and I'm gonna reel some of that up and Get it to dart left and right, and there we go. We're walking a frog back and forth. Might be wondering where these black things are on my legs. They're knee sleeves. <laughs> I just came from working out, so. And then after that, you just practice. You can twitch left, you can twitch right, it's just muscle memory. And before you know it, bada bing bada boom, you are walking the frog. So all in all, step by step, make a cast. Reeling some of that slack. Give it that initial input, that rod twitch, return back to your start position, get that frog to dart out to one side. And once you got that one, darting out to one side, your left or right, and then you're it. That's it. You're set. I'm just repeating that over and over and over. And making sure to reel in the tiniest bit of line. Keeping that rod tip close to the water, parallel to the water. And then rinse, washing, and repeating. Don't forget every once in a while, give your frog a little pee break. For those of you that are more musically inclined, think of that muscle memory, that motion, as like a metronome. Like once you get that motion down and that muscle memory, it's like a little metronome. So that tick, 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 tick. So that audio cue helps, helps me whenever I'm trying to consistently reel it back. Obviously, in fishing, you can vary your retrieve. You can twitch, 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 pause. Twitch, 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 pause. Kind of kind of work it differently like that. A little bit amount of time to fish this morning. If this video helped, these tips, tricks, this how-to helped you, then please hit the like button. I would appreciate that. Make sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know if it helped you. That'd be cool. If not, then say what's up. That would be cool. And if not, if not, I am still learning. I'm uh, definitely not a professional. So leave me a tip or comment or some kind of like hints, some kind of help. Because like I said, I'm still learning. I'm by no means a professional. I'm no guru. So if you haven't already, I would also appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. If you are not currently a subscriber. If this video helped and if you think that this video can help others then please share it with your other fishing friends hopefully that phew, was like hopefully that one going to the tree that one would be good that wouldn't have not been that would have not been good i'm a little out of my words that'll be it for this one um wasn't able to get any fish so i'll i'll link in some other fish catches that i've gotten from the yak with the frog but yeah that'll be it for this one Hope that you guys are able to go fishing and if you are fishing hope that you're able to catch some fish i'll catch you guys on the next one yeah god is good y'all be blessed later oh
come here, come here. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. There we go. Woohoo! Frogfish. Oh, wow, you got really sharp teeth. Woo! Thanks. <laughs> Yes! That was awesome. Dude, no way. Oh, it's a good fish. Whoa! Oh, golly, dude. <laughs> Look at this fish. Thank you for that. There you go.